Okay, kind, great. So you can share my screen. So we can start. Yes, sir. Yeah. So is it visible now? I, yeah, exactly. So yeah, now you can go to new template. Yeah. New template. So I think you know, um, uh, actually you know now you know because you know the, as I mentioned in last call also that mm. you know for uh, dual polarized unit cell or a single polarized or circularly polarized. So anything it's fine. So we are going to design the mm. you know the design procedure is same. The how to interpret the result is the where uh, you know we have to check the whether it is dual polarized or a single polarized. That is the only thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So then, uh, so now you you want to have a reflective surface or uh, a frequency surface surface kind of thing. Uh, he actually they have asked me to design a unit cell, a reflector a unit cell. Reflector a unit cell. So then, yes. okay, you can go ahead either like that. Okay. So okay. the only difference between them is only you have yeah you can go to micro RF tool RF optical. Mm. Periodic structure. Yeah, periodic structures. Then uh, you can go to you know uh, yeah phase reflection diagram, FSS matter unit cell. Then phase reflection diagram. Yeah, phase reflection. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Then, then frequency domain. Frequency domain, it's fine. Yeah. All units correct, no? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. No problem. So it's frequency, right? Yeah, you can give that range. For example, twenty six to twenty nine, something like that. Okay. 26 to 29, so if you want. Okay. okay. Which range you want, so accordingly. Uh, if you want to monitor this, H field you can monitor because you know, just to check uh, where the exactly the current distribution is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, yes. next, you can go, yeah. Finish, finish. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want, you can save the file name. It's otherwise it's fine. Okay. Should I save it? Yeah, yeah. If you mm -hmm. want, so. Mm. I don't, you know, uh, one, uh, you know, one uh, simple, uh, you know, uh, uh, advice is that you know, don't save anything in the desktop. Then it will be very slow, basically. Oh, okay. okay. So you have to store in the, you know, uh, any other drives that has, you know, 100 MB or two, uh, 100 GB or, you know, something like that. Okay. okay. So that, that's where you have to change, you know, yeah. Unit cell. That is the, you know, good advice actually. Oh, okay. That may be the reason. So that it was got stuck. It got stuck. Uh, maybe. The, uh, yeah. 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 Okay, and also, um, in, yeah, okay, wherever you are storing it, right? so there at least you do, should have a 90 GB to 100 GB so, so that it will be easily readable. Okay, now you can go to modeling. Modeling? Yeah. So here, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, you know, for example, we initially we will start with the cross dipole, okay? So mm -hmm. dual, dual port rest, no, the cross dipole is the, no, uh, basic cell, yeah, escape, press escape. Escape button. Sorry. Escape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's coming right. So you mark it as a ground plane, something like that. Ground plane. Mm. Okay. Mm. So now, which frequency you want to design? Uh, we'll go for twenty-eight. Is that okay? Twenty-eight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, it's up to you. So you have to tell me. So. <laughs> okay, okay, sir. We'll go. We'll go twenty-eight. Yeah. Okay. So I think you know ten point seven one is the uh, ten point seven one is the, uh, the 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 ten point seven one is the lambda. Then if you divide by two, then it will become you know five point three five five point three six basically. Okay. okay. So yeah. Okay. Uh, you can put you know uh, you can put it like this minus a by two. Minus a by two. Two. Yeah. And plus a by two. A by two. And then minus a by two. Yeah. And plus a by two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you can here you can give you know zero to uh, some kind of a t under t underscore c something like that. Okay. T t is fine. Yeah, t is fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. P c is fine. Uh, if you want to change the copper, it's fine. If you want to change mm -hmm. the copper the load from material, mm -hmm. then you can change the copper also. It's fine. Copper but both will give you yeah, anil. Yes. Okay. 
both will give you the same results only okay okay, okay. should yeah, i go yeah. preview yeah. preview yeah yeah value. now you give this as value for example lambda by 2 at uh, 20 I mean, 28 gigahertz is 5.36 okay if you can put a size of the unit cell something like that okay description so it's okay <clears throat> yeah okay okay click okay Okay, e. T e. is you know point zero three five. Uh, how do we get this, sir? One zero. Yeah, actually, this is one ounce basically. Okay. Okay. So one mil, we can say one mil. Actually, usually the copper thickness, no, it will come with one mil. Okay. So mm -hmm. that is a one mil is corresponds to point zero three five mm. Okay. Okay. Is it like a standard value or something? Yeah, yeah, standard value. Yeah, one ounce. We used okay. to say that the thickness of the you know uh, the copper will be always you know one ounce. Point zero three five mm. We are we can say one mil. Okay. Okay. It's in mil standard, as basically. Okay. 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 So here we can thickness. We can put the thickness of the you know uh, uh, metal or something like that. Yeah. Thickness of ground. Yeah. 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 Ground plane. Like something like that. Yeah. No problem. Okay. It's up to yours convention. Yeah. Okay. Click uh -huh. okay. Okay. Now no. Now no. You don't need to copy. You know means design again. So you can just go to yes. Press yes in your uh, keyboard. Okay. Ah uh, yeah, go to go and select this yellow area. It's a ground plane area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, double click it. Double click it. Yeah, yeah. Now you can go to extrude. There is an option. You went to that brick, right? The huh? below which you have a, you have one. Uh, yeah, extrude. Yeah, yeah. That is the extrude button. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what it does is see, see what it does is. It will simply the same size will be there. Okay, it will mm -hmm. simply extrude the face. I mean, say uh, another uh, um, uh, you know object. Okay, when you change the ground plane size, it will automatically get changed. That is the only advantage we have. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, in such case, some cases you may have a ground plane is different and substrate size is different, something like that. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. defected ground plane and all. That time you have to you know uh, separately design. That is the only thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So here you can put substrate. Okay. Here you can put you know height is T underscore S something like that. Okay, substrate thickness something like that. T underscore S something like that. Okay. okay. So now you go and select you know which 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 which, which substrate you would like to use. FR four is fine, commonly used, or you know uh, RT duride is also fine. Okay, you can use. It. Sorry, sir. FR four is you know common fully commonly used uh, board like you know. Uh, and then uh, RT duride sir, is actually R zero R O three zero three five one is there, no sir? Yeah, yeah, it is there. Yes, yes, yes. Can we use that? Yeah, yeah, you can use that. So no problem. Okay. The one more thing, you know, for your university, you know, if you anybody, nobody, you know, uh, lossy. Yes, yes. Always you have to select lossy. Yeah, okay. sir. Lord, if you nobody, you know, um, uh, took the sample of this. You can request for sample also. They will provide you. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Like we can request there. the company and uh, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Corpus company and Corpus website. You can uh, you know request for sample also. So okay. what substrate thickness we are expecting now? You are expecting point a point seven six or something like that. Uh, that I I don't know sir. Like point one three or something. No, no, no. You cannot have an arbitrary thing. So again, the same thing. Ounce, I mean, mils. I was telling, right? Mm -hmm. 0 0.035. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, um, similarly, this also has a 10 mil. Okay. Uh, uh, 20 mil, something like that. Okay. okay. 20 mil means point. Uh, uh, how much it will come? 0 0.035 into 20. If you put, I think 0 0.7 will come. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here. Uh... Now should go for a preview. Yeah, point seven. Yeah, point seven. Twenty mil substrate also you can go. See, substrate also will have that you know thickness in such a way that twenty mil, ten mil, five mil, uh, twenty five mil, thirty mil like that only will be there. Okay, okay. you cannot have an arbitrary selection. That you should keep in mind. Okay? okay. Okay. And also before you use, no, for now it's okay. You can use mm -hmm. any thickness that you want. But mm -hmm. you know, uh, if you want to uh, use, no, you can go through the data I means uh, data sheets. There in the uh, website, okay, okay, mm -hmm. and then you can start using it. In some cases, that mm -hmm. you, you necessarily require 
some kind of combinations for example okay mm -hmm. some kind of combination what you can do is look what you can do is you can sandwich the substrate also that's also fine okay so for example you know some sometime what happens is i have designed you have designed for uh, um that also is again it will be in mills standard only so 20 mill 30 mill 40 mill mm -hmm. so you don't have substrate now for example you got you already got sample of for example 0.7 mill okay but you need to design 1.4 uh, mm thickness something like that okay what mm -hmm. you can do you can just sandwich so if you go and tell the manufacturer that and you know, i want this to be sandwich because i don't have 1.4 thickness what they will do they will just you know uh, glue it and then you know uh, uh, paste it uh, in a such a way that you know it will not be uh, you know uh, there will be some kind of uh, uh, performance degradation will be there uh, because while they glue and all but you know not that much okay that mm -hmm. you can model it in a csdr as well okay okay, okay. sir like okay, yeah. uh, uh, if like where can we get these details like this standard value kind of you can thing? go to ro3033 just to put that in in a uh, website google you will google, google it and then you just, it will give you, you know the standard this much thickness to this much thickness it will be there what is the dielectric constant what is the loss tangent what frequency mm -hmm. that is measured for example it will not be called constant for all the frequencies basically oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. ah, and forgot to tell you sir you rightly pointed out because you know we cannot use fr4 beyond 18 gigahertz okay maybe mm -hmm. now maybe you know some uh, high performance substrate may come out but you know uh, traditionally we won't use a fr4 substrate for the beyond 18 gigahertz but now maybe you see i was telling you know i'm telling uh, five years before Okay, we always, you know, uh, got got recommendation that we don't use the for 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 beyond eighteen gigahertz, eighteen gig. Oh. Okay. 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 So, uh, but Rogers, I think you can use. See, the only thing is, see, so these materials you now will be characterized and free of, you know, free um, uh, means many frequencies basically. Okay. For mm -hmm. example, three gigahertz, some value will be there. Five gigahertz, some value will be there. For example, you are designing, you know, your material is, for example, uh, dielectric constant is two point two. At what mm -hmm. frequency that is matters. For example, two gigahertz, it is two point two, and five gigahertz, it is two point two three, like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so the variation should not be too much. Otherwise, what happens is you will uh, see you will design unit cell and then uh, for some uh, dielectric constant. Okay, but mm -hmm. uh, in in practice, no, you will see a lot of discrepancies because of the variations. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, so so that uh, while reading data sheet, no, you should uh, uh, have you know uh, thought about it. Like uh, for example. Uh, for example, you are designing for 20 gigahertz. You would be very cautious about that. You should be mm -hmm. very cautious about that because you know dielectric. What is the dielectric constant at that frequency? That mm -hmm. you have to see whether it is operating or not. That you have to see data sheet. Okay. okay. What is the loss tangent? That is also important. Okay. Loss mm -hmm. tangent and uh, dielectric constant and whether that thing, you know range of thicknesses they will provide. This thickness to this thickness, thickness we have like that they will provide. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can preview it. Review. Yeah, you can give point seven something like that. Now, for now, point seven. Yeah. Thickness of the substrate. Okay. Okay. Click okay. Then uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. Then you know. Uh, yeah. You can, now you can design a cross dipole basically. Yeah. Go to brick. Yeah, ah, escape. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Here you can do cross dipole something like that. You can do cross dipole. Okay. Okay. So now x no, you have to give width width. For example, for example minus w by two, w p by you no know, w d by two, w d by two, yes. plus w d by two, plus w d by two. Okay. Here uh, minus l d by two. ld by 2 then here you can yeah now you have to be very careful like you know for example now where we are going to place this cross table just above the substrate right mm. so what is behind that it is that so it is ground plane that whose thickness is t t um. yeah plus substrate is there so t uh. plus t underscore s okay here 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 here, here also you know z mean only T that plus? is the starting point, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. T underscore S. Yeah, because just above the substrate we are going to place. Okay. Now, what we have to do? T plus T underscore S plus the th thickness of the conductor is what? T. T. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because that is the thickness of the your uh, cross dipole basically. Okay, mm -hmm. that is where you are adding. Now mm -hmm. you can go and change the uh, means uh, material, copper material like that. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Yeah, copper. Copper and it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Now preview it. You can give any random number. That's fine. Okay. For example, uh, you know, L by eight or something like that. Okay. okay. So, for example, what happens is see how you are going to design this cross dipole. That is also matters. See, for example, sometimes what we what we design is, for example, it can be you can have a fixed thickness with with, and then you can change the length and uh, uh, you know by, uh, estimate the reflection phase curve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other way is, for example, you can change whenever you change the length, no, accordingly, this uh, width also will get very okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That also possible. Okay. So, mm -hmm. what we do is in this approach, no, you can have a fixed width. So, in that case, what will happen is uh, your length you keep on changing, but you will not have a you know width is changing. Okay, that is the only thing. Okay. 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 So, what you can do is now for now you can put 0.2, something like 0.5 or something like that. Okay, 0.5 width of the cross dipole. Width of the cross dipole. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. LD, you can give, for example, you know, uh, uh, you can say, for example, you know, um, five something. You can give, no problem. So far now it's okay. Mm -hmm. Length of the cross dipole. So in this case, no. Dipole. Okay. I will show you what is the difference between them. Okay, mm -hmm. click OK. Click OK. Now you got the cross dipole. You mm -hmm. press five five in your uh, no keyboard. Can you press mm -hmm. five five? Yes. In your, yeah, yes. but just to zoom it. Just you know scroll with your you know mouse. Ah, scroll out. Yeah, scroll out. Yes. Now what you can do is you go on to go to components on the left. Components on the left. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, plus you click on that plus on the left. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then again, again, plus you click on the plus. Mm -hmm. Now you can uh, select a cross table. Mm -hmm. Cross table. Control T. Control T. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Transform. Okay. That is, you know, otherwise you can right click and you can find the transform object. Okay. Now you have to rotate this rotate option. Go to rotate. Then click on the copy, but top, 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 left, copy, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 copy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are having a different version basically. So very nice, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, great. So now you go to Z, Z, Z point. You are going to, you know, because see, Z is focusing your towards you, right? For um, you, uh, it has to rotate 90 degree, right? Yeah, Correct? okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you go, go and give uh, the result. Yeah, give 90 degree. Mm -hmm. uh, preview it, preview it. Now it's come. That's all. Okay. okay. Click, Click okay. okay. Yes. Mm, yeah, okay. you can in, unite the both of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can just, you know, uh, go and select uh, both, both. Select go and select both. both. Yeah. Yeah, go and select both. Control, control, press control and, and okay, select okay, both. Okay. Go to Boolean. Uh, it's. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Boolean. I, that's it. It is added. Uh, on the right, you know, there is a one, uh, I mean, so, you know, uh, tab is the right. So, Boolean, go to Boolean. So on the side, you can see one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There, there mm -hmm. you can see add, subtract, all the options are available. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Now, okay. Now uh, you go to parametric sweep. You go to, you know, home. Home, mm -hmm. parametric sweep. Yeah. Now you can create new sequence. Click on the new sequence on the bottom. Yeah. New parameter. New parameter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here you can just go to L. LD. LD. Select LD. Mm -hmm. uh, here you can give you know one to ten. Uh, one to five. 1 to 5.5 like that. 5. Uh, uh, 1 to 5. What is the what is the unit cell size actually? Uh, you're talking about LD, sir? Or? No, 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 no. A, A. What was uh, the A? 5.36. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5.
yeah 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 okay you can put 5 okay 1 to 5 okay no 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 5.5 means it will go out right oh okay so 5.1 yes. or 2 uh, 5.2 something like that you can give okay okay, mm. okay. number of samples you can put uh, you know number of samples you can you see you, here you have two options you can either you put the samples 21 20, 10 like that or you can go to click on that click on the number of samples yeah okay. you have a step width as well okay, okay. so mm -hmm. you can give 0.1 basically you can start with you know initially you can start with the 0.4 or something like that later you know while optimizing you know finally if you want to estimate the phase curve right at that time you can use 0.1 okay so okay. now you for now it can use you know 0.4 or something like that Okay, point four. Click okay, click okay. Now go on check. Uh, click on the check button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you see here? See, see. So width is not changing. Only the length is changing, right? Length is changing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in that case, that's why I was telling. So you can uh, go for other option as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here, you know, uh, what you can do, you can close this. Close this. Go to yeah uh, WD. wd the yeah, bottom bottom yeah. yeah go to right uh, point when double click it yes sir you can get a ld by 10 like something like that okay ld by 5 uh, or 4 something like that okay you can put mm -hmm. ld by 4 5 or something like that yeah parametric update f7 press f7 or you can press the parametric update there parametric update there is a button means there right near calculator on the right uh -huh. okay. yeah that's one you come back can you see here okay. ld by 5 now mm -hmm. you can go to parametric sweep mm -hmm. now you check click on the check see mm -hmm. now you got the difference yeah so accordingly l no l and you know with you know go hand in hand okay mm -hmm. Okay, so sir. this is the that's you know just you know simple trick. So now mm -hmm. close it. Mm -hmm. Now you can just simulate one unit cell. Okay, just to start mm -hmm. simulation. Then we can go for you know. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Before we simulate, go close it, cancel it. You have to check about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you go to simulation tab, simulation tab on the top, simulation, on the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. boundaries left 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 boundaries, boundaries. yeah yeah so here it will have you know a uh, unit cell unit cell like that okay mm -hmm. okay so is that mean means you know just rotate it i will show you you know on the bottom no 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 uh, yeah i just rotate yeah rotate rotate on the right rotate rotate just you know just click on that and rotate it right side Ah yes, exactly, yeah, exactly. Okay. So see here, you know, you can see uh, open ad space like that. It is that right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, open ad space. Okay. Yes, sir. So yes. now, yeah, yeah. So see on the bottom, no bottom also it is having open ad space. Correct. Hmm. Really. Z min, Z max, both uh, has open ad space. So Z min, no, you can have a copper, you know, perfect electric also. You can hmm. select you know, either open ad space or perfect electric doesn't matter because you are having full ground plane, right? Mm -hmm. it will always going to be reflecting okay mm -hmm. that's the only thing go to frequent but fluctuate boundaries okay here number of fluctuate modes it is two which means you know polarization is two basically you know uh, fluctuate modes you know see one will be h means uh, along you know uh, for example y axis and x axis like that you know you will have you know e field e field mode and h field mode like that or we can say transverse uh, tm t uh, that will it will show you on the bottom so distance mm -hmm. to reference plane is there right distance to reference plane ah uh, okay sir here you have to put lambda by 4 so what is lambda there 5.36 right yes yeah you can put it 5.36 divided by 2 divided by 2 yeah okay so details i will tell you why uh, details click on details details now bottom mm -hmm. yeah yeah now you just update which frequency you want to design you just you know put the frequency now 28 yeah you can put that and for 28 now uh, update 
So can you see here? T mode will be excited. T M mm. mode will be excited. Okay. Mm. So T mm. mode for one polarization, T M mode for another polarization. Mm. Two polarization will be excited. Okay. So mm. before we move on, no, just you know, let me show you one thing. I will let uh, uh, you know uh, why we put this. Uh, you know, uh, let me share my share my screen. Okay, I'll stop share. Can you give me permission to? I think you share? can share now. No, 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 no. Post disable participant sharing. Now mm -hmm. to go and uh, you have to go, click on my name and then you know you have to give permissions. More, more will be there. There, ah, more, okay. uh, there you have to give me permission to make me as a host, host something like that. Make host. Yeah. Just a moment. So let me share my screen. Okay. So can you see my screen? Uh, yes, sir. So now, see, you are having, uh, you know, uh, this is the substrate. Then mm -hmm. you have a ground plane, okay. Then mm -hmm. you have a grass dipole, something like that, okay. Mm -hmm. Grass dipole, something like this, okay. Mm -hmm. so now you have open boundary, right? So open add space, you saw Z min, Z max, okay. So other uh, two boundaries were unit cell, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Z min, Z min means this side, Z max means this side, okay. Mm -hmm. So open add space here, you give if you give open add space or you can give perfect electric, uh, also, it's fine. So both are going to be giving the same results because you know it is completely blocked, right? Ground plane is blocking the signal, right? Mm -hmm. so now distance to reference plane is see distance to reference plane. So this is the plane where you are exciting the signal, correct? You have means sir. So distance to reference plane means see you have to capture the phase just above the uh, means uh, uh, means cross dipole. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. That is how we use this one. So lambda by four, why we use lambda by four? Because see, the thing is distance is lambda by four means 90 degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So while, while coming back, it will be 90 degree. Correct. Mm -hmm. So 90 plus 90, 180. Mm -hmm. So what this will offer? 180 degree. Correct. Okay. What ground plane any metal will offer is 180 degree. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay, that is the, you know, ma max from Maxwell's law. We can, you know, we can just find out. So tangential cell E equal to zero. Why? Because you know whenever you know it's uh, tangential cell E equal to zero on the uh, just above the metal surface because see um, it will you know uh, reflect back with the one eighty degree basically. Okay. So one eighty degree. Okay. That's how uh, the tangential cell E equal to zero because you know um, on the surface you no know, you will not have any electric field basically. Okay. So because you know you, uh, that is image there are many things many concepts will come into picture there. So any metal no will uh, reflect away with the 180 degree. Okay. Okay. 180 degree. Okay. So 180, this you know coming over here, nine, lambda by four distance, it is traveling. The source is traveling. So the lambda by four corresponds to 90 degree. So mm -hmm. again, it is going back to the same source. Okay. Means where it is absorbing also. So this mm -hmm. this is no, it is like kind of a, we can say trans receiver. So it will transmit and then absorb also. So it is traveling for lambda by four again lambda by four lambda by two which is 180 degree okay, okay. so okay. under it's getting reflected from by the ground plane 180 180 plus 180 will be you know 360 mm -hmm. okay so 360 mm -hmm. means no net phase is zero basically mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. whatever additional phase will come right due to that is due to unit cell basically whatever mm -hmm. additional phase comes right that is due to unit cell mm -hmm. that is how we estimate this phase okay okay now got it so why we put lambda by four mm -hmm. okay okay so now you can share your screen and then tell me can you share your screen i think uh, i think you are host all the same oh. <laughs> I think you have to uh, make me host, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I made it. I made it. Yeah. Okay. 
Can you share your screen? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's visible, right? Now mm. you click OK. Okay. OK. OK. Click OK. OK. Yeah, click OK. Yeah, one more thing. Go to Flukert boundaries. Uh, okay, uh, the distance is given right. right. Okay, it's fine. No problem. Okay. Uh, can you go to ports on the bottom? Can you go to ports on the bottom? Navigation tree on the left, on the left. Navigation tree, bottom, bottom. Yeah, ports is there. One tab is port. You know, no, bottom, bottom. Yeah, yeah, and the, yeah, just left. You know, go top. Just go top. Yeah, ports. yeah, here, here. Yes. Go and click on the admin. Uh, now, where it is exactly? Uh, uh, cancel it. Just cancel it. Uh, okay, not to, just to, you know, go and click on the Z, Z Max. Can you click on the Z Max? Mm -hmm. uh, just you know, uh, just to click OK. Um, can you uh, press the button? You know, there is a uh, how to say on the bottom. You can see. Can you see bottom? Bottom. You can see there is a you know bottom. There is a, so many tabs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah. Zoom, zoom out, zoom out. Can you zoom out this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Correct, correct, correct. Okay. So now, can you click on the Z Max? Double click on the Z Max. Okay. So go to boundaries first. Go to boundaries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Z Min, no, you can put it as a perfect electric conductor. Perfect electric because anyway, ground plane is there, right? So electric E equal to zero. Electric E T equal to zero. Yeah. Now, fluctuate boundaries. Can you click on the fluctuate boundaries? Yeah, Z max. Now you set this values 5.36. See, on the, in the edit fluctuate port is the right. There mm. it was a Z min initially. So now you can mm. put for both the ports. You can select and put it. Yeah, mm. go to details. 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 Yeah, you can put a 28 gigahertz. Update it. Update it. Yeah. Uh, can you, yeah, circular polarized, it's not required now for now. Okay, yeah, you can click OK. Yeah, yeah, OK. So, yeah, click OK. Now go on, select the delete, delete current results. It's fine. Delete the current results, yeah. Yeah, go to port and, you know, just ports mm -hmm. on the left. Yeah, click on the Z Max. Yeah, so where it is there? Oh, you have to put minus, actually. Okay, it is going out of the see reference plane that uh, dashed line is there, right? Ah, that is okay. the reference plane basically. Okay. It is like you know coming out of that, so you have to put minus there. Okay, can you click on the Z max itself? Can you click on the W click on the Z max? Hmm. Oh, no, no, on the bot left, 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 on the left. Yeah, double click on the double click on the that. Hmm. Yeah, here you put minus minus 5.36. Yeah, 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 click okay. Yeah. So can you see just above the cross dipole? It is there, right? Yes. Correct? Hmm. Yeah, that is the one thing we have to mention. Mention. So now you go and simulate it. Initially, first you simulate it, then we'll go for the next plot. Okay, mm -hmm. Components. Click on the components first. Click on the components. 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 Yeah. Now we go to simulation. Yeah, simulation. Uh, F solver is there, right? F solver. Go to F solver. F solver, F, uh, no, F setup solver is there, right? F solver, F setup solver, F, F, letter F. There is a green button, is there, right? Green button. Setup solver. Yeah, button. yeah, 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 yeah. You start it. Uh, on the bottom, adaptive. Okay. Close. <laughs> close it, Should close I close it. it? Yeah, yeah, it's close. Close it. Okay. There is an adaptive message there. Now, for now, we, we do not want that. Later point of time, you can use this, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. so now because it will take time. Close it again. Yeah, yeah. Now mm -hmm. go to F solver, F solver, setup solver. Okay. On the bottom, you can see adaptive tetrahedral mesh refinement. You just you know remove that tick, remove, uncheck the tick. Oh, okay. On the bottom. Yeah, yes, exactly. Uh, so now why we are at, doing this? Because see, adaptive refinement, see, it will uh, look for the accuracy. Um, if you want to teach me to teach me that, you know, I will tell you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I will tell you. Okay, let me share my screen. Make me post. Okay. 
I will share my screen and tell you. Yes, sir. Can you see my screen? Uh, yes, sir. See, now, see how the tool is analyzing, right? For example, you have an object like this, okay? Mm -hmm. You have a hexagonal mesh, triangular mesh, tetrahedral mesh, something. So, so hexagonal, triangle, tetrahedral like that, it will be there, okay? For mm -hmm. example, if you are having a triangle mesh like this, so you, it will, you know, it will partition like this, okay? Mm. Like this. So something like that, okay? So it mm -hmm. will partition the this uh, you know uh, uh, it will partition this uh, uh, object into multiple uh, you know mesh mesh mesh. This is called as meshing, okay? Mm -hmm. So what it does is see how it does you know tool work is so for example. So there is a Maxwell's law, right? So you mm -hmm. have four uh, four laws as a right? del dot uh, d equal to rho del dot b equal to zero because there is no magnetic monopole mm -hmm. uh, del cross h is equal to j plus uh, do d by do t mm -hmm. okay then uh, del cross e equal to minus do b by do t mm -hmm. this is the maxwell's equation right mm -hmm. maxwell's equation so this d you can write it as for example mu e uh, epsilon e okay mm -hmm. and uh, this b no you can write it as mu h okay this mm -hmm. is for the medium particular medium okay mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. now so now the thing is you know so how you can find out the see once you know the surface current density that is the conduction current density that is j okay mm -hmm. if you know conduction current density j you can able to find out h from this equation okay mm -hmm. h is what mm -hmm. magnetic field once you know H, I can able to find out E. Okay. Mm. This is how we work. Okay. Otherwise, what we can do, if you know the, you know, uh, the volume current charge density, uh, you know, uh, charge charge density uh, rho. Okay. Then I can find out the e, D. If I know D, I can able to find out H. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, other words. Okay. So this is how this uh, simulation tool also will work. It will actually solve the Maxwell's equation. That's it. Okay, mm -hmm. so what it does is see in this area now, in this area, it will try to find out what is the J. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the differential form of the Maxwell's equation basically. So in integral form now, integral form now, H is equal to triple integral like that, it will be there. Okay, some equation will be there. So there you have a parameter called J. Okay, this parameter now, what it does is it will first, you know, discretize the component into mesh, mesh of cells. It will mesh the you know each object that is to be solved one then what it does is see it will find out see it will ignite the source and then find out this conduction current density based on conduction current density then it will solve this equation maxwell's equation and find out the h and e therefore e from h i can able to find out e or from e i can find out the h so then it will you know calculate other parameters okay for example gain there is a you know gain there is a formula is there for gain it is you know uh, pointing vector is there so s is equal to uh, it's actually a power vector so e cross h like that it will be there okay so e cross h is what like you know power we are calculating right power v into i power mm -hmm. is equal to v into i right so v corresponds to e h corresponds to i okay that's how it will calculate then it is these are all derived parameters basically initially see our raw parameters is this is the conduction current density that is what we can it will first detect then mm -hmm. it will you know uh, find out the h and e and some so on so on Okay. From mm -hmm. E and H, you know, the derived parameters, for example, point to vector, from point to vector, it can, it can calculate the gain, radiation pattern and everything, it can plot and everything, mm -hmm. it can calculate, okay. okay. So, this is how it is, you know, uh, this is how the tool is working, okay. So, mm -hmm. this mesh, you no know, meshing, you no. Know, so, initially, you no. Know, say it is, uh, for example, you know, I am uh, working on some tolerance, for example, my accuracy should be minus 40 dB, for example, if I am setting that, for example, in the, in the tool, it will be there. Okay, you can go and check check in the tool uh, solver tool so minus 40 db accuracy so what it does is what it does it mean so for example you know first time i am you know i am calculating this mesh you see this value for example h, h value i am calculating next time also the same mesh 
i am applying some mesh uh, the next mesh next level of mesh fine mesh i see there are coarse meshing fine meshing is there so fine mesh then i will find out the h so the variation should be less than minus 40 db okay mm -hmm. if it is uh, you know uh, it is if it is not within this range then it will it, there is accuracy change right that will uh, so they, in order to bring this accuracy minus 40 db accuracy will be there so in order to bring this see there is a change should not be beyond you know minus 40 db that is the so if you uh, convert this to uh, absolute value you know it will be 0.0000 something like that will be there absolute value okay. okay so what it does is it will refine the mesh first adaptive mesh refinement means so uh, solver no it will take you know uh, next it will start with a smaller mesh next is smaller mesh next is smaller mesh in order to meet this accuracy basically mm -hmm. okay that is why it will take long time okay but if you are using single mesh no it will just solve whatever meshing you are after for so accuracy will be little bit uh, you know here and there that's it okay okay so do i know see five hours class i am saying in one 10 minutes okay so <laughs> so <laughs> yeah you can just uh, i'll make you host now yeah i think yeah yeah okay now you understood okay mm -hmm. fine So now you start the simulation. No, no, no. Because no, you can use it later, but you no, know, for now it's not required. Okay. You know, it will take time basically. So go to one D results on the left. One um, D results. On the left, yeah, one D results, one D results, one D results, okay. yeah, yeah. Yes, parameters. Now you can see, yeah. Now see, here max is there, right? Yes, max, yeah, max, Z max, yes, Z max of one, mm. Z max of one. One means one mode, first mode. Okay, that is T mm -hmm. mode. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Z max means four to one, basically. Z max means on the one port basically, okay, mm -hmm. okay, because you are enabled only the one port, right? On the one port, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So Z max of Z max means yes one one of first mode, okay. Mm -hmm. So which means what? Yes one one of first mode means it is vertically polarized. For example, okay, Z max yes one one of vertically polarized signal. What is the S curve? Okay, and then on the bottom you can see Z max of two is Z max of two. Is that right? Mm. That max up to that max up to that is the. Uh, can you click on that? No, 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 on the bottom. Yes, is that max up to? Is that max up to? Mm. This is the. For this is for the second mode basically, which is horizontally mm. polarized. Okay. Mm. Mm. So these are all the two polarization basically. Now uh, one is you know one mode is for one polarization, another mode is for another polarization. There is a cross polarization is there. Z max mm. up to. Z max of one is there, right? That is cross polarization. This okay? one. The coupling between two polarization. Yeah. Okay. It is very low, very low. You can see sixty-eight d minus sixty-eight db, which mm -hmm. means so it is not interfering with each other. Can you go to the next step? Next one. It is also going to be sixty-eight db. So now you select both the Z max of one, Z max of one, and Z max of two, Z max of two. Yeah, that one on the bottom. Uh, control, control, press control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the deviation you are getting. So, but you know, um, uh, over a period of time, you will get the almost similar results. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it is not not, not that way, you know difference is there. So it is uh, in terms of point zero zero something like that. So now on the top, no DB is there, right? Mm -hmm. DB. Mm -hmm. So you can select uh, linear also. Linear also. On the top, on the top, on the top, on the top, top, top. No, no, go to top. Yeah, yeah, yeah linear, 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 linear. Yeah. Will be point nine nine nine, which means what? See, hundred percent, almost ninety nine point nine nine percent, nine eight percent. It is reflecting. That is what it means. Okay. okay. So perfect okay. reflection will be one. Okay. Hundred percent reflection will be one. Mm -hmm. So what is reflector voltage? The S one one is what? Actually, reflector voltage divided by the incident voltage. Mm -hmm. so if it is hundred percent reflecting, which means one value, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, so the here we are having some kind of losses. That's why it is showing. In if you go to face, can you click on the face? 
face. Yeah. This is the face cuff. But face cuff, you can see both are coinciding. So it is actually a dual polarized one. Okay. Okay. So if it is not dual polarized, no, you will get a different face. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, that is the only thing. Okay, so here we you know we know that cross dipole will always give a dual polarized one. That is why mm -hmm. we are not you know worried about this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you draw on the reflection phase versus frequency, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you have to draw the reflection phase versus geometrical length of unit cell, right? Huh. So now you go to post processing. Post processing. On the bottom, top, 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 top tab. Top tab, yeah, post processing. Go to result templates. Result templates. Go to result um, templates. No, right, 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 right. Go right, go right, go right. Go right. Uh, and on the left, uh, yeah. Here, general 1D. Yeah, on the bottom, 0D, 0D or 1D results. You click on that. 0D or 1D results. Mm -hmm. Here, I have to give mean value is the right. Here, I have to give mean value. Here I have to give y at given x, which means see y v value is what reflection right. phase, right? Uh, phase. Okay. Mm -hmm. At given x means see see here it is versus frequency, right? Mm -hmm. So what it does is post processing means what it does is see here at given frequency. See here it is for a few various frequency ranges, right? Mm -hmm. uh, reflection phase versus frequencies. Here what we are going to plot. We are going to plot reflection phase versus geometrical length for a given frequency. For example, 28. You can give. Evaluate mm -hmm. X at 28. So on the bottom, no, uh, yeah. Z max of one, Z max of one is there, right? For mm -hmm. mode one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can select phase, for example. Phase. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Phase. Click OK. Next, similarly, you can you can generate another result also. Mm -hmm. For the you know mode two, ah, mean value. Click on that mean value. Y at given x. Ah, x is equal. Yeah, here you can give twenty eight. Here on the bottom you can select you know z max of two, z max of two. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then face. If you want to select magnitude, real part, image, part, all these things will it will be a separate separate results. That's okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, now um, you close it. So now what this this tool will do is post processing tool. So now mm -hmm. I'm going to vary my geometry, right? For example, five to one to five, one to six, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So whenever I vary, what it does is okay, it will come to this curve. Okay. Here, what it does is you are going to calculate only for 28 gigahertz, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So 28 gigahertz, for example, for now, it is, for example, you have selected five, five unit cells. I mentioned the dimension is five. So mm -hmm. for five, this is the value uh, approximately 153, you know, 152.5, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You will record it. Okay. Next, mm -hmm. if you vary the dimension 4.9, it will, it will ch check the value here at, uh, you know, uh, longer 28 gigahertz. What is the value? Then it will mm -hmm. record it. Then 4.8, 4.7, it will record each and every, uh, for each and every instance, it will record the, you know, uh, for uh, the reflection base value for the corresponding to 28 gigahertz, 28 gig, okay? okay? Then it will plot it. That is the one it will do, okay? Mm -hmm. So now you go to parametric sweep. It was in modeling, right? No, 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 home 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 home. home. Simulation or home, mm -hmm. both are fine. Yeah, yeah, parameter sweep. Yeah, now you can do this one. Okay, uh, 12 samples only, right? You can just, you know, start. Okay. You close it. Close this curve and then go to component. This close one. this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now go to components. Yeah. 
it is started at 2 right so second mm-hmm. iteration is started which mm-hmm. means it is varying the dimension can you see the evidence that very dimension yes yes okay now you go to bottom there is a tables will be there on the bottom Table. yeah tables yeah click on the tables plus mm-hmm. yeah click on that yeah now you can see two results uh, yeah yes sir see for mode 1 mode 2 you can just find out here you will get it you will get the reflection phase versus click on that yes mm-hmm. yeah yeah can you see here 1 1.4 it has already plotted the value can you see here it mm-hmm. is plotting mm-hmm. reflection phase versus geometric, geometric. dimension mm-hmm. that's all okay so if you select both then uh, both will come right yes control yeah you can say you know do it for you know point one uh, variation so you can see both both will come so both is varying hand in hand right there is mm-hmm. no variation which means it is a dual polarized one if you find variation no if you just plot the for example rectangular patch for example you can design rectangular patch there instead of cross dipole you can see that you know it will be varying okay for two modes mm-hmm. but uh, for example you know if you are uh, selecting square patch you will get the same results for both the cases because it mm-hmm. is a dual polarized one but mm-hmm. a rectangular patch you will get different faces that you can evidence also mm-hmm. okay so now you got the point okay sir great great so great thank you so yeah thank you so much sir yeah, no problem okay so now now you know uh, can you please you know if you don't mind can you please share this recording so that you know it will be beneficial for other other ah, sure sure sir okay, uh, you. yeah sure sir uh, i think i should like stop sharing yeah yeah so okay great i can stop <laughs> recording this